Hi, we're here with Rock Turtle and CU TV. We're here with Rob Lynch. Hello. How's it going? Um, yeah, Warped is like a huge part of the US and all around the world. Um, and now it's only recently come over to the yeah. UK. Yeah, What's yeah. it like to be here and be a part of it today? Uh, you know, I've missed the other two that have been here because I've been on tour elsewhere. So it's nice to uh, nice to feel the anticipation, the excitement yeah, yeah. around the, about the event that's going on. So I am. Um, I spent all last summer on the US one, yeah. so I've had the experience of, of like the sweatiness and being in car parks for two months, whereas now we've got like a nice cool event in, in October inside, it's a very different experience to, to how that was, but it's cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, you say you've been on the US one already, are you mm -hmm. noticing any other differences apart from it being really, really ridiculously cold? Uh, <laughs> not, not as many tour buses all stacked outside, not as many port loos um, <laughs> Never a bad thing. I know. It's not, not quite as stressful because they, they've set up and packed down every day uh, um, at, on the American one, whereas I think they've had a little bit more time this morning. So, yeah, yeah apart from that, it's the same bands, you know, same good times. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking of all the bands and stuff, are there any bands here today that you're excited to catch? Um, yeah, I think the, the, uh, the UK lineup this year is really strong. Yeah. Uh, so, like <laughs> Creeper, Moose Blood, The 100, Heck. Uh, I think it's really cool that there's like a, a strong presence from from the UK bands amongst like quite a quite a heavy US presence. So. Yeah, 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 definitely. Out of all of the bands that are on the bill today, is there anyone you'd quite like to one day collaborate with, or you wouldn't mind dragging on stage later with you? Ah. Tell you what, I'd like Jacob from the 100 to come and do yeah. his like metalcore rap grime thing that he does, <laughs> and like he's a good friend of mine, so I think that'd be quite fun to get him involved. It, like it, it totally wouldn't work whatsoever, so it has to be a one-off. But yeah, I, I think like I think that's the one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you're currently writing album number two. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's our last day in the studio tomorrow. Okay. Like finishing it completely. How's it been going so far? Good. It's great. It's been. Uh, it's taken twice as long than it was supposed to. Okay. Um, and we've been working really, really long days, yeah. but it's sounding twice as good as that I could have hoped it to sound. So it's okay. been, it's been worth, worth the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What are your hopes for the album when it does come out? Um, I hope just to step everything up. The, the last album was my first one, so you kind of come in as fresh face, and you don't really know if anyone's gonna like take to it or enjoy it. And I had, like, I was really, really overwhelmed with the kind of the the praise that it got. Uh, all the reviews that it got so now it feels like there's a platform to really step it up and push it onto the next level um, and this one's we've recorded and written as a full band rather than it being a solo record with a few like full band songs on it so we kind of mean business now so. <laughs> yeah, big That's cool. so yeah and the last two years have been absolutely amazing for yourself mm. like you've played loads of festivals you've got loads of positive reviews on the first album and stuff has it all been a blur or has it all kind of sank yeah, in it's, you know, it's gonna be nice because once the album's done tomorrow yep. and once I play today I'm, I'm done for the rest of the year so I can kind okay. of sit back and take stock of everything that's happened in the last few years and yeah. kind of get myself re recharged for next year to kick on with it even harder nice. yeah, yeah so what are the plans for 2016 what can we expect yeah, yeah the album out and then tour that as, as much nice. as possible I guess that's the, the simplest way to put it Cool. Yeah. Sweet. yeah, sounds pretty good. Can we expect to hear any songs off in your album today? Uh, yeah, I'm going to play three. Yeah, because yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the last show of the year. It's not like part of a, a tour or anything. We were like, well, let's give them a go. Yeah, yeah. We'll play like, the, kind of the singles from the first record and we're like, let's play our favourite ones from the new one. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, how hard was it to pick a set list for today? Uh, like Now we've got two albums worth of material and yeah. EPs. It's like, <laughs> It's like a load of songs with before. It's like one album. So you're like, well, that's a single. That's a single. We like playing yeah. that one. So and now it's like, oh, we gotta leave that one out. But what about this one? So it's kind of probably the hardest set I've had to pick actually for a half hour set. Okay. But it's good. It's good to have that or to to have those difficulties rather than throwing in a song that used to be like, oh, I don't really want to play that song, but I've got to yeah. fill out the time. So now it's like we can play what we want. Yeah. I mean, you might not be playing to like. You, well, you might be playing to people who haven't heard you before today. Yeah, that's exactly the thinking. Yeah. It's not really. Like it's not a typical Robin show, let's say, um, sure. playing alongside Black Veil Bryce and asking Alexandra and whatnot. Is. So it's an opportunity to like reach out to those fans that might not have heard it before. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're just playing an upbeat set. Very yeah. oh, happy and happy. Is um, uh, is it like um, uh, having a moment? Um, what for you overall all round? You've seen the US now. You're at the UK one. Yeah. For you, what's the heart and the best thing of what? I think what's really cool about it is that 
there's no there's no hierarchy. Everyone's on like the same platform. There's no backstage where people can hang out and hide away. Everyone gets the same like merch space. Everyone gets the same amount of set time. I guess apart from maybe the headliners on the main stage today. Um, and it was the same in, on the US walks as well. Like no one knows what time they're playing until the morning of the show. Sure. So everyone has to be on the same level, and there can't be any egos. And quite often at rock music festivals, there there are some egos kicking about. So <laughs> okay. it's cool that everyone has to rein it in a little bit. That's cool. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Um, so you've been like obviously you've been a singer songwriter for quite some time. How did you get into that? How did you start? I. <laughs> So I, just, I asked for a guitar for my 18th birthday, okay. and like before then I'd never played and hadn't had lessons or anything. Sure, yeah. And just, just kind of went with it. <laughs> nice. I taught myself how to play guitar and like, sing a little bit, and yeah, yeah. wrote some songs and played some gigs, and then wrote some more songs and played some more gigs, and somehow found myself just doing that with my life, which yeah. is it's great. amazing. It's just, yeah, it's hard work. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, it's taken you like all over, and you've played, like I said, you played Warped in America, and yeah, crazy. Yeah, brilliant. No, thank you for talking to well, us. Thanks for having me. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Catch you soon. And then I'll set them alight. I've got this key and this bag and a will to survive. I wrote a song about life